Thank you, Madam President. Ladies and gentlemen, I rise in opposition to this bill for a number of reasons. Um, first of all, I, I'm trying to think of some other situation in which California thinks it's okay to interfere between the relationship between a parent and a child. This bill says that if a married couple in, pick a state, um, Florida, Georgia, wherever, um, one parent says they think it's okay for their child to go through gender transition, the other parent says no, absolutely not, the one parent could bring that child to California and seek that type of surgery or medical um, care for their child without the permission of the other parent in California would say, we're okay with that. If you've had a child of your own, then you know the lengths you will go to to protect your child and keep them from harm and do the very best you can to keep them safe and making sure that they're not making decisions that would cause them harm later on in life. This type of um, treatment, some of it is irreversible. I mean, if you're talking about surgery, there is no going back from that. During the hearing for this bill, there was um, a young person who testified about going through this transition and the regret that she had from doing so. She was young, she was impressionable, she got caught up in the movement, she got caught up in the fact that she was awkward as a child, had difficulty making friends, and found a subgroup on the internet that seemed to be very accepting of her and the challenges she was facing, and she got swept up in it. And she went through, with these changes, she went through having both of her breasts removed. And you're not gonna, you don't go back from that. If you are um, a young man transitioning to a female, your genitalia is removed. You don't get to put that back. So if you're 14 and you go through this type of surgery and later on you discover that it's something you regret, you can't change it. You're, you're not going to father children later on in your life because of the things that you did. And it does happen. I know that the supporters of this bill talk about um, it, they're trying to suggest that those of us who disagree with this bill that somehow we want to keep these kids who are going through um, this in their lives that we want to make them invisible that is not the case it's not the case what I have seen in these committee hearings is those who support this bill try to make invisible those teens who have come forward to say, it was a mistake what I did. I wish the adults in my life had stopped me. I wish the adults in my life hadn't encouraged me to do this. I wish the adults in my life would have dug a little deeper to find out what was behind these feelings and help me work through that rather than allow me to go forward with surgery, puberty blockers, a whole host of things that one can do, some of which are irreversible. I have five kids. Many of you have children of your own. And so you know, if you think back to when they were younger, they have a lot of different ideas about things they want to do. One day they want to be a teacher. The next day they want to be an Olympic swimmer. Another day they want to do something else. One day they're you know, in love with this particular thing. The next day they're not. They're, they're changing. They're evolving. And to allow them to go through with some of the medical procedures um, that are being suggested here without a parent being able to intervene is wrong. And that's what this bill will allow. I don't disagree that we should make sure that kids in, in, in this category are protected. 
um, and not bullied and not harassed and provided some understanding and certainly any medical attention, mental health wise that they may need. But I don't think the state of California should be stepping in and facilitating that. That's not our place. If a child in another state, if their parent brought them to California for any other reason, to have them do something else that the other parent didn't agree with, we would never say, well, we will protect the parent who's going against the other parent's wishes, because it's not our place. And this is very serious. So it's not that people don't understand that this can be a difficult time for a young person and the parents, frankly. But until you've had a child yourself and you, you've watched them mature and you've watched them grow and you've watched them go through all the changes that they go through as an adolescent, you can never understand what it's like to be the parent who says, I don't think this is the right choice for my child. In the state of California, I don't want you to step in and get in the way of me doing what's best, or what I think is best for my child and help me helping my own child. It's not the job of any senator in here to do that and certainly not the state of California. Um, again, I, I hope that you've done your research on this issue. Obviously, some of the measures taken aren't as extreme as removal of genitalia, but some are, but there's a whole host of things. And if you look at the other countries who are taking a step back now and saying, you know, we actually think this, this can be very harmful for kids in the long run, in the end, because there, there is no good data to say that the use of these types of things like puberty blockers and things like that, there, there's no good long-term scientific studies that say that this does not cause long-term damage. I am certain someone is going to stand up and try to refute that, but I would urge you to Google it yourself and you will see this is the exact reason why some of these other countries are taking a pause and saying, we actually don't think this is the best thing to do for kids. We really need to, um, you know, pause this issue. So you can be sympathetic and understanding to those who are having uh, <clears throat> thoughts about transitioning and in the parents who are trying to help their kids. You can be sympathetic to that, but also be sympathetic to the parents who are raising them and their role in their child's life and not interfere in that relationship between the parent and the child. With that, I urge a no vote.